Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's questions come from all the way across the Atlantic in the United Kingdom. Adela and Eric have sent in 21 random knowledge trivia questions that we'll use today for our day 345 of the 365 day trivia road trip. There's 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need it. Let's get started. Question number one, we travel for several days to our destination, the Mare Tranquilitatis, or the Sea of Tranquility. But when we get there, we realize that the swimsuit we have is useless because the area is totally dry. What kind of suit will we need to wear instead so we can go for a walk? If you're going to go for a walk in the Sea of Tranquility, you'll need a spacesuit because that's on the moon. Question number two. In June of 1927, at a golf course in Worcester, Massachusetts, a few American golfers took on a few golfers from Great Britain, and this event became the international team golf competition for men. What British businessman donated the trophy, which now bears his name, for this U.S. vs. Europe golf tournament? That is the Ryder Cup. His name was Samuel Ryder. Question number three. Apollo 11 landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969, and once both astronauts were on the surface, an iconic photograph was taken. In it, a single astronaut stands in front of the camera with the other astronaut and the leg of the LEM reflected in his visor. Which astronaut is being photographed? I believe Neil Armstrong took the picture of Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin is the answer. Question number four. In the dark old days of the early 90s, when many of us were being introduced to computer languages and computer programming for the first time, the initial language some of us encountered was BASIC. What does the acronym BASIC stand for? The answer is Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Question number five. In The Lord of the Rings, Sauron is calling all of his allies to Mordor in preparation for the battles. The Herodrim answer and bring with them several Mumakil, giant, mammoth-looking animals that carry many warriors. What do Sam and Frodo call these monstrous animals? Sam and Frodo and all of the hobbits, what do they call them? They call them Oliphants. Question number six. There were quite a few spaghetti westerns that were produced and directed by Italian movie makers. One of the classics is 1966's The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. We know that Clint Eastwood played The Good, what two actors played the bad and the ugly? The answer is Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wallach. Question number seven. In January of 1954, Ernest Hemingway and his wife were on holiday in Uganda, Central Africa. On successive days, they experience something that all of us hope that we never experience even once. What type of catastrophe were they involved in on back-to-back -back days? They were involved in plane crashes. One day after the next. Question number eight. In 1962, a British rock band was formed in London that is still active today, although Mick Jagger and Keith Richards are the only surviving members of the original lineup. The Rolling Stones were formed by what guitarist who died in 1969 shortly after he was kicked out of the band? The 
The answer is Brian Jones. Question number nine. In the 1980s, an electrician in the Gdansk shipyard in Poland became a trade unionist leader. He then founded a movement called Solidarity. Neither the communist government nor the Soviets could destroy it. Who was this man that eventually became Poland's first president elected by a free popular vote? The answer is Lech Walesa. Question number 10. A volcanologist studies the processes that form volcanoes. An archaeologist studies human history through excavation. And an oologist studies bird's eggs. Often found on the ocean, what does a cetologist study? The cetologist is found on the ocean. What he studies is found in the ocean. He studies whales and dolphins and porpoises. Question number 11. The armistice that ended World War I was signed by the German High Command and the leaders of the Allied forces at approximately 5.45 a.m. in a railway carriage sitting in a wood near Compiègne, northern France. What was the date and time that all military operations were due to cease? The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. Question number 12. In the world of Major League Baseball, there are only three players whose 3,000th hit was a home run. Who were these three players who at some time in their careers all played for the Yankees? Three thousand hits is impressive. A home run on your three thousandth hit is very impressive. Wade Boggs, Alex Rodriguez, and Derek Jeter. Question number thirteen. In September of 2023, we mourned the loss of Scottish actor David McCollum. One of his many roles was of the NCIS pathologist Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard. In the very early episode of NCIS, Kate asked Gibbs. What did Ducky look like when he was younger? What was Gibbs' response? He said, Ilya Kuryakin, which is one of his characters from an earlier TV show. Question number 14, Tom Clancy's character Bart Mancuso, commander of the USS Dallas, is trailing the Soviet submarine Red October staying firmly in its baffles. Red October suddenly starts a 360 degree turn to check its blind spot. What was this turn known as? In real life and in the book, that is called a Crazy Ivan. Question number 15. During World War II, there was constant movement of people, money, and supplies from a group of islands to the north of Scotland to Norway and back. Initially utilizing Norwegian fishing boats, what was this operation known as that operated secretly under the noses of the German forces? Named after the islands, that was called the Shetland Bus. Question number 16. The human heart is just a pump comprising four chambers. Its primary role is to send oxygenated blood around the body. Eventually, deoxygenated blood must return to the heart so it can be sent to the lungs to be reoxygenated. Which chamber of the heart does deoxygenated blood flow into? Deoxygenated blood flows into the right atrium. Question number 17. In the movie Demolition Man, after a protracted fight sequence where Lenina Huxley, played by Sandra Bullock, has just kicked the stuffing out of a bad guy, 
An astonished John Spartan, played by Sylvester Stallone, asked her where she learned to kick like that. What was her reply? She learned it, where we all learn it, which is Jackie Chan movies. Question number 18. To contact individual countries' emergency services, there is a wide choice of phone numbers. The classics are 911 for North America, 999 for the UK, and 112 for most parts of Europe. What number would you dial if you wanted to reach the emergency services in Australia? In Australia, you call 000. Question number 19. The platypus is an egg-laying mammal endemic to eastern Australia. It has webbed feet and the bill of a duck. The male has a venomous spur on its hind ankle. The female is solely responsible for raising the young. What is that young baby platypus known as? What do you call a baby platypus? The answer is a puggle. And question 20. This sport could be described as squash on steroids. The court is similar, but a little bigger. Players wear a hooked basket on one hand to throw a ball at high speed to the far wall and let it bounce back. An opponent then catches it and repeats. What is this sport called? This sport is called high ally. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Tripvia. And thank you to Adela and Eric Cox for sending in another great quiz. Also, this should probably air on Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker. The Eiffel Tower in Paris was designed and built by Gustave Eiffel and was finished in 1889. According to the tower's website, it's over a thousand feet tall and constructed mainly of steel girders. How heavy is this French treasure in tons? The Eiffel Tower weighs 10,100 tons, so whichever player got closest to that is going to win the point. If it was a tie, they just won the whole game. Now, if you're trying to get a hold of one of these road trip kits, last night we closed the auction on the first one that got auctioned off. We're auctioning off 12 altogether for the 12 days of Christmas, so you can jump over. We've got the links down in the description below or you can go to our Facebook page. There should be links there as well. We're auctioning off 12 of these, starting at one penny for each auction. There's no shipping, there's no fees, there's no nothing. If you win it for a penny, I'll send it to you for a penny. We're only doing, yeah, we're only doing 12 of them. Then we're 100 through 111 of 111 special edition with the lucky penny included on all of them. So if you want one of these and you don't want to write the trivia for it, check out eBay. We've got, uh, we've got, I think there's, I guess there's 10 left, 11 left right now. One ends today and then there will be 10 left. Check it out.